देवी सरस्वती व्यासम तथो जयाम कम इन टू बी Who inspired me the Vyasa to pen my dear ones this Bhagavad? Who inspired him? His name is Narad Muni. Narad Muni is the blessed son of Brahma. Brahma ji is the father of Narad Muni, created from the power of his mind. Narad Muni meets Veda Vyas ji. Parashara Mahabhagam Bhavata Kastidatmana. परिवार But Naraji, I don't think I've given my best yet to this world. Bhavata nudit prayam yasho bhagavato amala ye neva so na tushita mani ta darshanam yatha dharma dayas chatham moni varya nupirti ta na ta tha vasude. कृष्ण When Draupadi is in trouble, Krishna appears. Right? Right? When the Pandavas were in trouble, Bhagwan shows up. Bhagwan performs a little miracles, and he disappears. But people want to know. The world will want to know who is this Krishna? Who really is he? The Mahabharat and this Bhagavatam they are linked together. Their one book, right after the other, Vedas. Vyas Ji is inspired by the words of Narada Muni, and he's going to pen, my dear ones, this glorious text that is called the Bhagavad Mahapuram. Shri Krishna Govind, Hare Buddha. Mother Draupadi, her five sons are going to be killed. Imagine a parent or parents losing one child, but then losing two, then losing three. There are several parents who have lost their children in this world, and that's one of the worst thing. That is a nightmare of every parent. No parent wants to perform the final rites. Of the children. When the Upa Pandavas, their sons were fast asleep during the battle, there was a personality by the name of Ashwatthama. Ashwatthama, thinking that they are the five Pandavas, one is Arjuna, one is Bhima, one is Nakula, and Sahadeva and Yudhishthira, because their heads were covered, they were asleep. He beheads them. At this ghastly act, it even horrified Duryodhan. Duryodhan was horrified. How can you how can you kill them while they're asleep? What do you call such people who attack their who attacks from behind? You call it cowards. You call it cowards. But that this was a short time. Imagine a mother crying for one child. Imagine crying for five or more children. Just think of your opportunities. Particularly, think of her heart. Think of her, what she is going through. Her husband could think of nothing more than to capture the culprit, the guilty, and bring him before Draupadi and says to Draupadi, "Do you want us to be happy? Should he lead the same faith like our sons?" Now, what did Draupadi say? 
I am a mother to my children. This Ashwatthama also has a mother. This Ashwatthama, he also has a mother. And the way I am crying for my dead children, if you were to kill him, just imagine how his mother will cry. Draupadi's heart goes out to Ashwatthama's mother. Now you can understand why Krishna Bhagavan loved Draupadi. Draupadi wasn't a vengeful woman. She stood for dharma. She stood for all things righteous. She says, don't kill him. Because if you kill him, his mother called to me. She is going to have to weep like the way I am weeping. The way I am crying. Ashwatthama is released. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this, this, this heart of Mother Brother. Deeper than the depth of the ocean is the heart of Brother. Bhaktas, Ashwatthama is sensitive. That's one lady, Drogbro. Quickly to tell you how the Drogbro coming to this world. During this Mahashivaratri, I saw lots of temples doing outdoor hava. Lots of temples were engaged in doing outdoor hava. And I've also seen that people sat around the Havan Kun. Some sat on the ground, some sat on benches or seats that were laid around the Havan Kun. But they were still wearing their shoes. You do not wear shoes and do Havan. You want the blessing of this blessed earth. You want your feet to touch the earth in blessed grounds where Bhagavan is worshipped. This is blessed ground. You get? This is sanctified ground. I beg of you, when you sit for a hour, please slip your footwear off. Slip your footwear off and do your hunger. That's one. Number two. What else I saw? I saw people standing. How can you stand and do hunger? How can someone in a standing position feed the fire? Because that is what you're supposed to do. Feeding and throwing are two different things. Feeding, this is how you feed. You pick up your morsel of the food, right? This is the offering. You hold it up in your hand and you do what? You offer it into the holy food. Is that so? This is the act of offering. This is the act of throwing. This is the act of offering. This is the act of throwing. You don't throw offerings into the Havan Kun. You feed the fire, my dear ones. When he performed that great yajna for Dashat Maharaj, he fed the fire. The way you feed your children, the way you put the morsel of food in your child's mouth, that is how you feed the fire. And the manner in which Shringi Rishi fed the fire made Agni Bhagwan appear and gave them the bias and gave them the kiyun that was distributed to the queens of Dashat Maharaj. We want the benefit of Havan. You don't do how I all of them do how I'm part of a show by No, no. That is not needed. That is a sacred fire. You feed the fire. Bhakti Janu, devotees all Draupati. Draupati was born out of fire. 